Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Divinity Original Sin 2, and we're literally gonna just about to leave the second act, so let's talk ourselves to Melody, see what she has to say. To be off learning how to become the divine and whatnot. Tell Melody the bad news, my deceiver has died. Her eyes flash with something, anger perhaps, or fear. I... but... never mind. We better focus on the task at hand. She looks straight ahead, ignoring you. So that if you learn what you set out to learn, and you know the way to the Nameless Isle. Well, aren't you industrious? It seems all the riffraff's back aboard as well. Ready to set sail when you are, your holiness. If you choose to leave this area after the mes this message, you will not be able to return again. Your open quest will be closed and archived. That's fine. Um, tell everyone aboard that's coming aboard. Tell her everyone's aboard that's coming aboard and you're ready to set sail. After many adventures, the party finally reached the place where Godwo can go to become divine. But more surprises and difficult choices awaited. Indeed. Actually get a loading screen for the Nameless Isle, it's is interesting. So this is like Act 2.5, kind of. It's relatively short compared to the rest of them, but it's technically there's a full act game, but I don't really count this as a full act. The nameless isle. Here I thought Malady was unimaginative. <laughs> Still, it's what's on the inside that counts, isn't that right? And this is the place you all meant to become a god. I can't help but wonder exactly what you intend to do with such a power. Hmm. So you'll do what needs to be done for the good of the realm. I have no doubt about that, but do remember, you can do what's good for you, too. All things in balance, you know. Mm -hmm. You'll want to hurry now. Divinity is waiting, after all. Ask her what you should expect on the island. Excellent question. Normally, this place ought only to be known to Godwoken, but... Judging by the ships burning in the bay, there's been a uh, breach, let's call it. Regardless of who's on the island, all that matters is who ascends. Make sure that's you. Interesting. The strongest will survive and ascend. Ask about the wellspring your god mentioned. I'm hardly an expert on the matter, but I'm smart enough to put two and two together. Where there is an ocean of source, there is a well for drawing from it. Mm-hmm. To rise to divinity, you probably need to take a gulp. Oh, I'm sure it won't be that simple. Indeed. Uh, let's give every oh the cat hello. By which I mean Solara. Covered in forest, a true forest. Can you smell it? Over the stink of the water, millennia of mulch. Those hmm. woods are ancient. Interesting. Better to find a clue about the great acorn. Some of those trees could even date back to the first forest. The Knights of Dre will never find us here. A perfect sanctuary to pause and complete our research. Smile and ask if he's thinking of taking a holiday. There's no rest for the wicked, Quercus. And even less for those out to save the world, it seems. Somewhere on this ancient isle, there must be a clue that will help us stop the acorn. We must tread carefully. I'm sure such a wonderland will be dangerous, but at least it should be free from the Knights of Dre. Ask what he'd do if he did run into one of these knights. What would we do, Quirkus? Why, we'd make them sorry they ever hmm. left their mother's nests. Anyway, we have something for your new best friend. The squirrel reaches out and hands you a piece of bark covered in tiny, scratched handwriting. Something I discovered in your lizard friend's basement. She won't miss it, but use it well. Interesting. What do we get? Three new recipes. 
Uh, I think it's probably Grimoire's? How do you know what's new? Ah! So, Vampiric Hungra, Vampiric Hungra Aura. Oh, interesting. It's just the three different ways to get it. Interesting. So, we can make Vampiric Hungra Aura. That's useful. Uh, hello, Gareth. You have anything to say now? You interesting. More chipper than you've ever seen him, and certainly more chipper than most people mourning dead loved ones. <laughs> Indeed. I should thank you. I don't know what came over me. Praise Lucy and I had you to put me on the right track. Offer your condolences. He's been through a lot. I'm grateful for your kindness. I needed time to think. My parents led good lives. I'd rather celebrate them for the love they gave me than to wail over their loss. Hmm. He is, like, a good man to a fault, to be fair. Besides, we have work to do. Once we anchor at the Nameless Isle, I'll scout ahead. See if I can help locate the Council and ease the way. I'll report to you on what I find. Say, so that isn't necessary. You should stay on the ship. Nonsense. I just had to take time to renew my spirit. Lucian said, I will refresh the tired and satisfy the weary. Words as true today as when he said them. Okay. Gareth offers his farewell and hums to himself. You recognize the tune, Blessed and Bold, a hymn praising Lucian. Interesting. I can sense the raw powers of the source rippling through the air. The island yonder, it is doom or destiny. Hmm. What's on his mind? Not but the demon I'm hunting. A trivial task, really, compared to your current pursuits of divinity. Interesting. Um, this may be the same question I already asked him, but I'll do it again. She's a beautiful enigma, mm. isn't she? All elven grace, and her own evil twin to boot. Yet she defies good and evil in a particularly charming, and therefore particularly perilous way. Interesting. I hope to hear her whole story someday. I'm certain it'll be quite the tale. Jahan takes you by the arm, his voice a whisper. By the by, do please remember the warning I gave you in the woods. Should Losa come close to divine ascension, you must act. You must kill her. Hmm. Don't necessarily want a demon ascending to divinity. That's true. But I think ultimately... Eh. Hey, Tarquin. Quite a journey I've found myself on with you. Is this where it ends, I wonder? Hmm. Note that this island seems to be rife with danger. Might he be able to offer any advice on how you proceed? Hmm. Dangers indeed. You can almost hear the sounds of battle when the wind shifts correctly. And where there's battle, there's bound to be mercenaries. Hmm. Glecu Duma. The words of the lone wolves. No doubt my former comrades will have them in their employ. Speak their words, and you might pass. That's fantastic! How did I never know this was a thing before? He just gave us a password to get past lone wolves. Speak their words, and you might pass. Consider it a token of my thanks for the assistance in retrieving an athlete. Hmm. Ask what he meant by his former comrades. Who did he serve? <sighs> Pursuit of my interests has led me to fall in with some disreputable company in my time. For mm. a short while, Black Ring makes one sense. such group was the Black Ring. I know, I know, not something to be proud of, but they let me do as I wished, so desperate they were for aid after the death fog cut them down to size. A fine arrangement. <laughs> they started preaching about this <laughs> king and his <laughs> So he used the resources of the cult. He used the resources of the cult until they actually made him commit to something, and then he's like, hey, fuck you. That's hilarious. The last thing this world needs is another would-be god. And an army of fools willing to follow him. That's what this covenant is. It's a sop to all the fools who think that someone will grant them power and immortality in return for loyalty. This god king has caused to make war with the seven. 
and the Covenant is how he's gathered his army. Mm. They become sworn, as it was put to me, bound to serve, die, and be reborn for the God King for as long as he wishes. Then at some ill-defined point in the future, they think they'll be rewarded. Interesting. Be reborn. So they they do get immortality. In the in the the downside being they have to be uh what's the word? Subservient, I suppose. You should have seen them all. On their knees worshipping a new tyrant just to spite seven old ones. <laughs> I got away from them while I still could. Unfortunately, Dallas was waiting to snatch me. Return to all the matters. Um, what progress have you made with Anathema? My efforts continue. I must admit it's quite an intricate piece to work with, even for someone like myself. I remain confident of success, though. Uh, say so you'd like to do some training? I don't really, I just want to get this, <laughs> uh, completed. Uh, the actual dialogue completed. Uh, take your leave. Do what you must at this place, sorcerer. I don't want to linger a moment longer than necessary. Fair enough. You're quite hurt. Allow me to help with that. Hey, Mira. Tread carefully, my dear. Those are black mm. green banners that I spy on the shore. Interesting. I studied the tablet that you so generously provided. It showed me everything I need to know about creating a functional sworn breaker. Once I have that, I'll be free of the covenant. And free to spend the rest of my days with Mahali. See those structures further inland? Remarkably like those from the caverns of the Black Pits, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Should you discover the parts needed for a sworn breaker, please bring them to me. <laughs> Goddamn succubus. I'll make it worth your while. Also, you will likely encounter sworn followers of the God King on that island, I suspect. I would avoid combat if possible. Death can be less than final for them, if the God King wills Interesting. It. Ask her for some advice on how to proceed unhindered. Almira doesn't respond right away. Instead, she turns and gazes intently at the island. After a long moment, she finally speaks. I sense a familiar presence. The Sallow Man. First yes. speaking of his name there. He's there somewhere. Likely commanding Black Ring forces. You should seek him out. He's a foul creature, but not opposed to cutting a deal. Beware his underlings, though. If they challenge your presence, pose as a thrall of mine, and you should gain safe passage. My name should still command respect among them. Interesting. Something She's very helpful. Mind, darling. Um, tell her that you intend to craft Swarmbreaker yourself. You'll need the tablet back to do, in order to do so. You want to craft a Swarmbreaker? I hope you haven't fallen in with the wrong crowd, my dear. Here, take the tablet. Just remember that I covet the Sworn Breaker as well. I trust you wouldn't deny a girl her deepest desire, would you? Cool. So we now know how to make the Sworn Breaker. Don't know what it comes under? I th maybe weapons. Or objects? I may actually have to read the tablet. Read. There we go. Um, your curious stone tablet, most of the etching carved on its face are not uh, words, but pictographs. They do not relate to a history to tell a fantastical tale. However, they detail the construction of a scythe. The artifact is not pristine. However, someone has crudely sketched a modern word below the ancient drawings. Sworn Breaker. Cool. Now I know what the Sworn Breaker is. Uh, I believe it is a weapon, indeed. So we need the, the schematic as well as the haft of the Sworn Breaker. Okay. Pretty obvious. The blade and the haft. And then the stone tablet. Good to know. Um, but we can craft that for her and then bring it back to her. Um, alternatively, we may be able to use it ourselves. If the need arises. Which it may. You never know. Um, let's see here. Han, hello. Hello. This island is something else, huh? I'll bet I can find many interesting ingredients here. Up to you. You know I just feel bad about sending a child into an unknown destruction of an island. Um, is there anyone else I haven't spoken to yet? I 
don't think so. So I think we can actually just leave the boat. Uh, which is over here. Whoa. Rope physics. <laughs> uh, textures will load sooner or later. I want to head this way first, just for completion's sake. I don't think there's really much of a point. Earth tongue, nice. So this is quite a large area. Um, not as large as Reaper's Coasts, but there is quite a few things you can do on this island. Um, it would probably be a couple episodes, I would gather, on this island before we end up being completed. As you can see here, smash ships along the shoreline. And as Almira pointed out, ruin is very similar to what we found underneath the, uh, the black pits. Um, I'm going to head this way first, though, because uh, going left first, I think, is correct. I can't remember the most efficient way to run through this place, but I don't think that matters entirely. There's some dead things over here. These bodies have been purged. Who could have done this? By far the most impressive fast travel point. Um, I've reached the point where I don't really care about loot, which is stupid. Because I do kind of still need it, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, money is very, very useful. <laughs> so, I should keep looking for it. Wherever I can find it. So there's some Magisters here, which is interesting. Um, also interesting that they were purged, specifically. It implies a source user. I would say sorcerer, but there's... There's beings here that aren't necessarily sorcerers, but are source users. Somewhat of a distinction without a difference, but... You'll see what I mean. Watch over your fallen servant. Mighty servant. Watch over your fallen servant. Hello, Dolores. May your reward be as great as your sacrifice. Quick as a flash, the Magister has an arrow notched on his raised bow. He falters. A glimmer of recognition crosses his face, followed a moment later by a wry smile. I believe he was the guy we saved, um, he was one of the Seekers that we saved underneath the, uh, Fort Joy he was being tortured. My Fort Joy saviour. I never thought I'd clap eyes on you again. Indeed. Uh, you don't really have anything of note. Sure. <laughs> you always seem to catch me at a low ebb, unfortunately. My troop was slaughtered by Black Ring. I'm the only survivor. What are you doing here? So that you're gobwoken, somewhere on this island lies your destiny. A skeptical eyebrow arches upwards. You, gobwoken? That seems unlikely. Never mind. There are more important matters at hand. Bishop Alexander and the others might still be out there. I need to find them. Let me stay by your side for now. You can count on my bow in any fights to come. Frown, did he say that Alexander is here? He nods. I never thought I'd follow him. Not after Fort Joy. But he won over us veterans. Magister and Paladin alike. He's like a different man, now that he's found the path to divinity. Hmm. He broke free from Dallas and Breedman's influence, and they tried to murder him for it. Them and their white magisters. Us loyalists had to stand by his side. The fracturing of the Divine Order, the Void Woken Crisis, multiple attempts on his life. He's let none of it deter him. Now Ascension is within sight at last. Tell him to come along and stay close. He slings a quiver of arrows across his back and nods. Eyes sharp. You frown with surprise. Alexander vanished along with all the others when the Lady Vengeance breached the Hall of Echoes. You assumed he was dead. If he still thinks he's the one that will replace Daddy Dearest, he's in for a surprise. Oh, won't he be ever so happy to see us? This is going to be extra fun. <laughs> now, we're taking with us someone who is a loyalist to him, which seems like a dumb idea because, I'll be honest, I'm probably going to murder the bitch. But... You know, we'll see. 
Um, I do want to head north first. I think I want to clear this out, then like this out, and then slowly make my way. Because I think our ultimate goal is like here. So I want to do like up here, then head back and do like down the bottom, and then head to the middle. Um, there's quite a few things you can do on this island, and I kind of want to do all of them. We're already sitting at 20 minutes, but I want to try and get to this place at least. I think there's like a puzzle you do here. Black Ring Reaver. I am intrigued whether or not they will talk to me. I don't think they will. Nope. Not that it really matters because we can just do this. Hmm. You know what's even better though is if they're standing on top of each other. And then add water. Nice. And let's do adrenaline. Ice fan. We're frozen, and I can keep doing damage. Shitload of damage to them. Um, I can actually control this guy, which is interesting. Do I? S I'm still getting the benefit of Lone Wolf. That's pretty amazing, actually. Huh. Hmm. Uh, to attack to a retreat over here. Assassinate this man. Should have assassinated the other one, probably, but, you know, what are you going to do? Both frozen again. Pretty ridiculous how quickly I'm taking these guys out and just fully controlling them. Uh, sure, why not? That'll probably kill him. It didn't. Uh, use some magic. Sure. This guy's useful to have around. I won't lie. It's good to have company again. This island doesn't seem kind to stragglers. Take your leave. Um, yeah, it's cool to have him around. I didn't know that you could get him, honestly. It seems likely. This is impressive. You can see this, this water just pouring out of a portal of some kind. Presumably one that's inside, uh... It's presumably a portal that's, like, in the ocean, and it's just pouring water from the ocean. It's interesting. But, we're sitting at 23 minutes. So I think I'm actually going to leave it there. We're going to head up north next time. I believe there's a camp of Black Ring up here. So we can take these guys out. Um, it's interesting. I'm still getting the effects of Lone Wolf, I believe. Which is kind of funny, because, uh... Yeah, totally am. I, I technically have three characters now, but I'm still getting the benefits of Lone Wolf on these two, which is... Hilarious. Um, because he's counted as, like, a follower of the Red Prince. He's not, like, a separate character. Um, so that's useful. But in any case, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you liked the video, please leave a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching, and I shall see you next time. Where there's probably going to be more combat and less talking. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this fight here is I wanted to have at least some kind of combat during the entire episode. Because the rest of it was just dialogue. Um, it was me saying nothing, and then the game just espousing exposition. Which... You know, I'm fine with, um, but I generally like to have a little more gameplay in an episode of a Let's Play. In any case, thanks for watching guys, and I shall see you next time.